Now as you guys can see, I own quite a few anime figures. But today we're not going to be looking at any of these figures. No, we are going to be looking at a figure that I am much more excited to finally take a look at with you guys after waiting many months for it to finally arrive. We may take a look at a few of these in future videos, but uh, for now, they go back in their boxes of shame. Be gone, you wench. Your scantily clad bodies will not entice me today. Oh, that Sonico was still in the box. I thought I had, uh, took that out. Or rip Libra Sonico. Hopefully she's still in One Piece. One Piece. I've, I've literally never heard of that before. Now, if you guys have been a fan of mine for some time, if you've ever come by one of my streams on YouTube or Twitch, uh, you might already know this fact, but I'll, I'll restate it just for any of the newbies around here. Arguably, my favorite anime of all time is Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid. It's lighthearted, has a good story, amazing characters. It's funny, yet serious. The art style is one of my favorites of any anime of all time. It's just a refresh anime to watch at the end of a long day. It's really the only anime I can think of that uh, when people ask me who's my favorite character, I, I can't answer that. I I don't know. Every single one of the characters I absolutely love, whether it be Toru or Quetzalcoatl or Kana or Elma, they all have their amazing character traits um, that, that I absolutely love. And with season two of Dragon Maid right around the corner, I thought it would be very appropriate for us to take a look at a very exciting piece of merchandise that I've been waiting such a long time to finally share with you guys. Bring out the figure. Reach it. Oh no. Eh. Eh. That's right. We're looking at another Kana figure. Now you can't love Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid without uh, loving Kana. I think those things go hand in hand like a like an Oreo. She's super cute, super lolly, and uh, in some of the later chapters in the manga, and possibly in season two, she goes through quite a bit of character development. So stay tuned for that, my dragon made hardcore fans. But I'm not just excited about this figure because it's it's Kana, one of my favorite characters of all time. I'm more excited because of what they did with Kana. Now that's a that's a loaded statement if I've ever heard one. Now this figure is made by Fu Ryu, which I'm sure I'm I'm butchering like crazy, but we're just going to roll with that pronunciation. And the one thing that Fu Ryu is very good at doing, uh, whether it be with their more high-end Miku figures or their abundance of prize figures is making their figures very unique. And what I mean by that is they don't just take Rim and put her in her standard Rim outfit and then sell it for $30. They don't just take Miku and put her in her standard Miku outfit and sell it for $180. No, they're much more creative than that. They like to go with these fancy outfits and different styles and poses and uh, it's, it's really refreshing to see. Now don't get me wrong, I love collecting figures of uh, my favorite characters and their original attire and what you see in the anime because it's relatable and all that. But it is very nice to see something that is unique, that is outside the norm uh, when you have been figure collecting as much as I have. Wow, a main character from a popular anime that's outside of her normal outfit that you normally see for 24 episodes of an anime? That's illegal. So when I saw this figure rumored and then finally released for pre-order, I was so excited. It, uh, I actually learned about it on stream on YouTube. Uh, somebody mentioned it to me, and uh, I didn't believe it. I, I didn't think that it would actually happen. But back then, I didn't know Season 2 of Dragon Maid was happening either, so I was in for a lot of surprises, just like the rest of you Dragon Maid heads, uh, fans. What? Dragon Maiders. That's what we're going to be called from now on. All my hardcore Miss Kobayashi Dragon Maid fans out there, we are now called Dragon Maiders. Dr Dragon... <laughs> Dragon Maters. That truck done flip over and he be Dragon Maters. Wow, doing that southern accent made my eyes water for some reason. I'm having an allergic reaction to being southern. But before I tear into this figure like a kid on Christmas morning, let's take a little bit of a closer look at the box, just because it is a little bit unique, especially if you've never bought a figure from this company before. Now, I own a few figures from this company, and uh, they really like to go with this completely clear plastic casing, which is which is both good and bad. I, I like it and dislike it at the same time. I like it because you can actually see the figure. One of my pet peeves, something I've said before, is when you buy a $100, $150, $200 even, plus figure, and you can't even see it because it's all covered in box. So it is refreshing to have a box like this where I can actually see the figure. Uh, it has a whole bunch of cute little designs on it, some good artwork. It just feels very Dragon Matey, you know? It, it's, it, it gives me that same feeling of hope. That being said, you are missing the original artwork that typically you see on a figure box, which is a little bit disappointing. I would love to see that original artwork for this figure because I bet it is just cute as heck. One thing that I also kind of despise about these boxes is the plastic's always really sharp and I always end up cutting my delicate little man hands on it, so. 
Yeah. But yeah, that's about everything I have to say about the box. I love all the little designs. I love the artwork on the front. I love Dragon Maid's art style. It, it, it just is so homey and comforting to me. I don't know why I love it as much as I do. I just do. So it is really cool to see that on a figure box. It just, it just warms my britches. What? But without further ado, let us open this box. Where's my knife? All right, so we're missing my uh, knife. So we're going to try to use this USB drive to open this figure. Jump drives. I remember when I used to work in computers and people would come in and ask for jump drives. Yeah. Okay. Well, all right. I think that actually worked. Uh, I'm sure there might be more tape inside, so I'll set our little ghetto knife aside. Here we go, you guys. I've been waiting so long to open this. The only thing I forgot to mention so far is this is a 1-7 scale, I believe, and I think it comes with a few accessories, but I'm sure we'll, uh, we'll find out here soon enough. You guys might have also noticed that I've gotten a haircut and I trimmed off my beard. I probably should have mentioned that earlier, but I kind of forgot. So now you guys get 5 o'clock shadow anime, please. It's like I'm a, I'm a stock trader. Buy! Buy! Sell! Sell! Bye. 19 year olds who invest $27 into day trading be like. Yeah, I'm just hanging out today, doing some trading. Got my uh, seven monitors and iMac Pro here. You know, it's all necessary, necessary to watch those markets, you know. And you know, I don't want to brag, but I have had 3% return uh, this month. So, hey, I'm just I'm just getting my piece of the pie. That's the American dream. All right, you know what? This this isn't working. I, I've grown tired of my USB knife. All right, I couldn't find my pocket knife, so we're gonna be just using a, a regular old steak knife. So let's let's not cut my hand off. The trick is to always cut towards yourself in an uneven, rushed manner. Ah, okay, there we go. At least we got the main figure freed here. Um, okay, we'll work on the accessories once we get uh, Kana out of the package. She needs to be she needs to be freed. Oh, oh. <laughs> it's so cute. It is so cute. Oh my goodness. Wow, figure companies can be creative and colorful and, and refreshing. It's not true. That's impossible. All right, I'm gonna set her down here just for a second. Gonna get her on her little stone base. Here's a look at the base for you guys before I get her on there. Um, yeah, it's got a good texture to it. It actually looks like real rocks. Oh God, am I gonna be able to get her on the base? <laughs> I did it. That wasn't too bad. Oh my God. She is so cute. I, I love it. I absolutely love her hair. Look at that, you guys. Have you ever seen a cuter figure? The answer is no. One thing, too, is it's it's really light. Like, the base is really light. She's pretty light. She doesn't feel cheap. She just feels, feels pretty light. I have been lifting, so, you know, I don't want to brag, but it could just be these absolute units of muscles. Okay, you know what? Whatever I'm doing right now is is not the right way. Not the right way. Do you do you know the way? Do you guys remember that meme? You know what really surprised me is is being on YouTube during that time period, the know the way time period, is that there never was a a do you know the way prank. None of the pranksters ever did a a series on that where you just go up to an 80 year old woman on the street and go do you know the way, until she just. Until our confusion just overtakes her. All right, and we got a few different accessories here. Um, looks like there's two different hand options. You can either do the the paddle or you can do the arrow. I don't know what these arrows are called. They have a name. They got a little message or charm on them, I believe. So you do, oh my gosh. See, this is what I mean. This is what I mean by just a little bit of creativity can go a long ways. Look at this. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see this, but on the arrow or, or on the charm of the arrow, they have a little a little dragon maid dragon on there. That took them what, like two extra minutes to do? And uh, it was well worth it. It it looks so cute. We have like a little bamboo arrangement here in a barrel. I believe that's just like a little bit of a, a backsplash for her. And last but not least here, we have the, the crown jewel of this figure. The thing that'll just really catch your eye. We have uh, Rico as, uh, as this thing. <laughs> There, there's a name for these. I just, I don't know. I don't remember what they're called. Uh, this is very heavy though, but oh, because it has a magnet in it. I, I see what they did there. Okay, well that, but there you go. That's as much assembly that is required with this figure. Uh, if you do want to switch out her hand, you can do that, uh, but I think I like the paddle better, so. I don't need my lollies armed with arrows. That statement will never get used against me in the future. But there she is, everyone. Fu Ryu's 1-7 scale Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid Kana figure. 
in her traditional dragon made kimono. It is just so cute. I I love this figure so much. I love what Furayu has done where they've just they went their own way, you know, they could have just put Connor in her normal outfit or throw her school backpack on or put her in her bikini or whatever like any other company would do. But no, they were like, we're just gonna we're just gonna chart our own path. And I love that. All the detail on her kimono, the dragon, the flowers, everything. It, it looks so good. It is done so well. You know it's a good figure. What my only complaint is, I wish it was bigger. <laughs> I wish this was a 1-4 scale, just so I could have her even larger and display her even more proudly. But I'll take what I can get, okay? Dragon Maid merchandise is a little bit limited, so I'll... I'll take whatever figures I can get. But just, oh my god, it's just so freaking cute. I, I absolutely love it. It is so nice to have, finally, finally have a good Dragon Maid figure. If you guys don't know, most of Dragon Maid's figures are made by FOTS Japan, which has a notorious legacy of, of just poor quality, terrible packaging, bad. So to get a figure option outside of those companies and in such great detail is, is so refreshing. I I love it so much. But I'm gonna stop talking. I'm gonna stop drooling all over this figure now just so you guys can get a closer look at this figure. Enjoy. I love her hair. I love her hair so much. It is so cute. Like the kimono and everything is great, but just like her hair up like that. They did the same thing with Miku. Some of their Miku figures where they put her hair up in these different designs. It is so cute. Alrighty, you guys, that's all I have for today's video. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today as we took a closer look at this Kana figure. I was so excited to finally be able to open this figure uh, and, and it really overwhelms me with uh, the amount of quality, the amount of detail. Everything about this figure is just absolutely perfect in my eyes. If you are a fan of Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid, if you are a fan of Kana or anything like that, then I highly recommend this figure. But that's all I have for you guys. Remember, the link to all my social media will be down below. So if you guys want to join my Discord or if you want to follow me on Instagram or shoot me a message on Twitter, or if you guys want to check out my streams on Twitch or on YouTube, all the links will be down there. So uh, be sure to check that out if you are interested. And I'll be sure to catch all of you in the next one. Peace.